Doctor? Daily. I'm, I'm so grateful to have a man of your vast knowledge and wisdom on my side. Oh, please. Well, thank you, my lord. I can trust you, Pycelle, can I not? Why, oh, yes, of course, my lord. These are perilous times. And the Crown must forge new alliances. And these alliances must often be sealed in matrimony. Matrimony? Ah, yes. I'm trusting the Council with these plans, but the Queen mustn't know. I can't have her meddling in affairs that could determine the future of the realm. There's too much at stake. Oh, yes, yes, very yes. I shall be silent as the grave. I'm brokering an alliance with House Martel of Dorne. Princess Marcella will wed their youngest son when she comes of age, ensuring their loyalty and their army should we need it. Marcella sent away to Dorne. But remember, the Queen mustn't know. Ooh. The Queen mustn't know. I love conversations that begin this way. I plan to marry Princess Marcella off to Theon Greyjoy. Theon Greyjoy. Forgive me, my lord, but how? He grew up a ward of Winterfell. He fights for Rob Stark. Precisely. Theon's father loathes the Starks and will convince the boy to come to our side. Greyjoy can destroy the Northern Army from within, and we can have his father's ships. But remember, you must tell no one. Tell no one what? I plan to wed Princess Marcella to Robin Aaron of the Vale. Liza is not fond of me, but perhaps the promise of a royal match will convince her to let bygones be bygones. She imprisoned you. She tried to execute you. And you offer her son a princess. For men in our position, holding grudges can be an encumbrance, don't you think? And I suppose you want me to broker this agreement. Who better? Yes, I could sing this song to Liza, if I cared to. What's in it for me? The gratitude of the people of Westeros for helping to end this war. The adoration of the king for bringing the veil back into the fold. And Harrenhal. <laughs>